So it's been seven months since I made the best builds in Shinobi Shrike. The definitive best builds for every game mode. If you want singular build per class, you guys really enjoyed that video. And you guys got me 70k views and 2.13k likes, man. So the new season 7 is coming up. I feel like we need to update the best builds because the meta has changed a lot. And these builds are kind of outdated now. Like the last video I did, I give you guys one build per class. And I give you the best build for everything. So every game mode these builds you should be using if you don't want to rotate around you just you know want to use a singular build i'll be giving you guys the best builds today so before we get started make sure i drop a like listen we got 2.3k likes last video let's try to get 3,000 likes i know that sounds crazy but over time it might be possible man so make sure i smash the like button go crazy for me slap that like button bro make sure i are also subscribed and with that being said let's get into it and make sure that notifications on First, we're starting out with the attack class. The chakra claws are the weapons you want to be using for this, but if you don't have the claws, you could buy regular claws at the 1010 shop, so you could get this with cheap Ryo. So if you got like 500 Ryo, things like under 10k, you could buy this. So if you don't have the chakra claws, you could use these, but the chakra claws are actually in the shop right now, so I definitely recommend them a lot. It will be a way better attack with these. Now, the claws are very cheesy, but I'd be lying if I said they weren't the best, and of course, these are the best build, so please don't get mad at me for using claws. Your tool that you want to use for attack build is kuna these are the stats for your attacker but you need first blood clear mind and battle hard and you need these so you can get your ninjutsu and super technique fast and when you get kills which you're going to be doing because you're an attacker you're going to get hp back so it's just going to be very powerful the first jutsu is teleportation jutsu this will do a dash and it will make you fast for every game mode you know flag and base and it's just good overall for movement and then you will get a ninjutsu buff. You will also be getting the Oberguma speed boost, the swift steps buff, so that's very good as well. Now your second jutsu is almighty push. Almighty push will push enemies away from you, get rid of super armor and stuff like that. And it has an 11 second cooldown. So with the teleportation buff, this will do like 40% HP and it's really good for every game mode. Like I said, these builds are meant for every game mode. You just use one build for every game mode. So Almighty Push is OP. For the sub, you need Town Space Hop. You'll be getting your Ninjutsu's faster. You'll also be in vulnerable to attacks and stuff like that. This is from the Sasuke Defense DLC. Finally, for the ultimate, we got Kuruma Link Mode from the Hokage Naruto DLC. This will transform you and you will get a two step attack. First, you transform, and then the second thing, you will get the Fake Fox Blast, which will deal a lot of damage. You have probably seen this attack build already so many times, but it's a good reason why this build does everything. And like I said, these are the best builds for everything everything you want to play a combat battle a base battle a flag battle or even a survival this build that i'm showing you for attack is perfect for every single one you can move fast with teleportation you can get rid of super armor with almighty push and stuff like that you got cool knives to get people off you and you got a healing ultimate so yeah this build is super op you know you're a demon in um combat battle you're just moving around very fast in flag battle you're just easily capping flags in base battle you're easily moving around and capturing bases and in survival you guys already know everybody uses this build on um, i was one of the first people to use this build it was kind of easy to make but like yeah it's a very popular build and it's, it's it's for a reason it's just super good it does everything that you need it to do and this definitely is the best build i feel like for attack right now it just does too much it's the current meta and I, it might be nerfed in the future but it's still super op so for the range build you guys want to be using the sasuke's ninja blade or you could buy the ryo version of it the kuzanagi sword this is an attention shop of course you guys could buy this with ryo just like the um claws if you guys need a combo tutorial on the kuzanagi i'll leave it at the top of this video so make sure you guys master them combos will be a range demon but the tool you want to be using is going to be send bones because you get three of these and it does a lot of good chip damage this will be very good for every game mode again the stats on your range but it's going to be first blood robust fighter and battle harden you want to have robust fighter on this so you can have more hp because ranges die very easily so you want to have i don't know more hp for the first ninjutsu from the Madara dlc firestorm majestic destroyer flame i think this is the same build from the last video it's just too good they haven't really changed the range meta but majestic destroyer flame will always be good it's just op the second jutsu is going to be infernal star flame lightning from the sasuke range dlc my sub i got time space hop again Finally for my ultimate i got wind style c dragon from the tamari dlc so again like the last attack build this is easily 
probably the best range build because you have a thing that destroys shields like sand shield and water pillar you have majestic destroyer flame this is easily the best range jutsu in the game from the moderate dlc you have inferno style flame lightning which pulls enemies lowers their defense and gives them burn damage which does a lot for a jutsu you know it does a lot it's really good it's op it's probably the second best jutsu of course and then you have seven bones to do chip damage and you finally have the tamari ultimate which will get a lot of enemies in there and make it easy for your team to combo or if you're in survival it would just be super easy to get kills because everybody is just going to be inside of that again this build is good for every game mode combat battle you just destroy with this build um base battle you use this to pull out enemies from bases and you know what i'm saying use the majestic short flame they got shields and stuff like that and you also got flag battle you're going to be helping your flag runner the attacker trying to get the flag you got the pull you got the tamario and you got majestic if they're camping so yeah this range build of course again is easily the best build you guys know i'm putting you guys on with the best builds i do hope you guys have been enjoying them but yeah this is easily the best range build currently at the moment now we move on to the defense class for the defense class you want to use jet black long sword or any type of long sword or any just weapon you want to i definitely recommend the long sword though it's just too good easy combos and yeah. for your ninja too i recommend the super tough medicine but if you don't have that i recommend either blast bombs or paper bombs one of these two for your stats when you use first blood clear mind and battle harden your first juice is going to be uchiha flame formation this will be good for every game mode because you're boosting your defense and you're getting a big Barrier and also your allies this is op and it's meta the second jutsu is celestial air slice type zero from the minato dlc this is good for doing combos and you know getting people inside of this it will also make your allies be able to jump people while you're using the jutsu so it's really good this is from the edo minato dlc i don't know if i said that for the sub we got time space hop again time space hop is just too good bro finally for the ultimate you got rasenga and unison this is from the season five pass dlc so now with this defense build you have the flame formation which will boost your allies defense and then will boost your defense and it will give you guys a barrier which will block any singular attack which is very good for every game mode even survival exercise not even just for like teammates but just in general it's good for you raising defense is an underrated thing in this game it does a lot you may not realize it but it affects your you hp a lot it affects you a lot you have the minato jutsu which is good for doing combos with your teams and also by yourself which you could be doing in flag battle if they're camping on a flag or like a base battle um you also have the medicine which will heal you up and you have the best defense ultimate rusting on unison which you can spam a lot man so once you know you see your enemies open you pop that ultimate you gain all your jutsus back again and you just keep spamming so this build is definitely crazy to use i definitely recommend this one to you guys as well all these builds are just so good you know i would never put you guys onto trash this build you will destroy this build if you never play defense trust me you better use it this is what it means to be a tank you will actually not die with this build you just got too much hp healing too much defense raising and too much buffing for your allies and just too much combo potential and you got the beast ultimate so yeah make sure i use this build man finally we move on to the healer build now for this healer build i recommend your weapon to use as a sakura naginata but if you don't have that i recommend you guys to use a recommend you guys just to use a ninja sword you could learn the combos on this but sakura naginata is definitely the weapon you want to use or any of these type weapons you got the round to spear i would say the um crimson spear the moderate staff spin of rebellion scattered rain these weapons in the sakura naginata you definitely you want to use you want to have a healing seal type 2 because you can heal yourself and your allies like i said these are builds for every game mode so you need this to heal your allies if you do have allies the stats you got on for your healer build is master medicine robust fighter and unbending will you have master medicine to gain more hp robust fighter so you don't die as much in 4v4 so you know you can heal your teammates and unbending will so if you do get very low you get your ninjutsu faster so this is the ultimate healing, but I don't think I ever showed you guys this build. I use the build, you know, if I want to win. For the first Jutsu Seller Extraction Jutsu from the Sakura VR Master, the free one, this is the best healing Jutsu in the game. It heals everybody and removes status effects. For the second Jutsu, this is underrated. Nobody uses it. I mean, a lot of people, some people do, I would say, but not everybody uses this. They're still stuck on your Sakura beat. Chakra Scalpel from the Kabuto Free VR Master. This will seal everything your opponent has and you get it so fast. It seals Chakra Jumps ninjutsu and secret techniques so you use this on the healer to get them low and not have healing you're gonna just destroy them and it's good for you know pits and stuff like that for the sub i'm using yomotsu hirosaka from the kaguya dlc this is so you can run away from stuff finally for the ultimate we have izanami from the itachi dlc this is easily the best healer build for sure these are all the best builds i'm serious i don't think i've ever showed you out of this build but i've been using this build every time i want to win a combat battle and this build is super good for every other game mode as well because you have chakra scapo from the kabuto vr master which will seal all jutsu's ultimate techniques and chakra jump which is very underrated because when you're doing a combat battle and you're facing a healer 
bro, they're just not going to be able to heal anymore. You know, you, your team's going to jump them. They can't use no Jutsus. And once they die, you just use that on a different person, the Chakra Scalpel. And again, they have no Jutsus. They're defenseless. They get jumped. Very underrated Jutsu. Of course, we got to have Cellular Extraction, the best healing Jutsu in the game. We got to have a healing tag for us and our allies. You know, we heal ourselves and our allies. We have the sub if we want to run away and stuff like that. And we have Izanami, which could change the type of game. So, yeah, this is easily the best healer build. And I don't know if I made a video on this, but I really should, bro. It's just too good. Let me know what you guys think, though, about these builds. I hope these builds do help you out on your journey to becoming the best Shinobi on this game. Listen, man, I got to go crazy and use these builds. If you do, you will become a GOAT. Trust me. Just watch more videos, maybe like an advanced movement tutorial and stuff like that. Maybe like some combo guides and use these builds. You will be a demon, man. But I hope you guys do enjoy this video hope you guys enjoyed i mean hopefully you guys have a blessed night or day wherever you're at and i will see you guys in the next video man peace